Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as... We've got a few Deliriums to do. Let's try and do Delirium as Judas. I do like a good old Judas run. A little bit of a difficult start with this guy, obviously, but... I don't know. I, I, I just... I like the idea of starting with some, some power. Starting with some real oomph. It just... It takes away the need for that early damage up, and obviously that's very, very nice for us. So, we'll see what we can do. Um, hopefully, not die is what we can do, because uh, recently, not been doing so hot on the not dying front. I mean, don't really have an excuse, other than I'm just sometimes bad at the game. Um, that's kind of my only, my only reputable excuse. But we will jump in for another run and see how we get on. How is everybody doing on this fine day today? I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling pretty, um, pretty like relaxed today, pretty chilled out. I'm having a bit of a bit of a sleepy day, so to say. Oh, didn't didn't catch that fella there. I really, really, really not a big fan of those enemies. I didn't see that that one was on that fire. I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have touched him if I'd have known. But. I did not see him, so we're now, now we're in a, a slightly more sketchy um, situation where any one touch of any one enemy could kill us, but a bag of blood comes to save the day. Thank you, bag of blood. You have been amazing to me. But yeah, my question of the day is, how's everyone doing? And if you're not doing great, what's up? Maybe I can help, or slash, maybe I can give comfort slash i don't know maybe i can just read the comment and reply to you <laughs> and hopefully that makes you feel better for some reason or another we'll see we'll see i need to get back to uh my reply comment replying streak at the minute i've been uh i've been slacking i've been slacking i realize but I, i'll get i always get back to it i always get back to it don't worry a first item is going to be unfortunately a item that i while i like a lot i'm not going to take because the book is just so much better but I actually really do like the box of spiders now. It's a lot, lot better than it used to be. Um, in fact, I think it's actually better than Guppy's head. Um, but eh. It's not for us right now. We'll see what we can uh, do. At least we got some spiders off the bat there that could do some really, really good damage. That was actually quite nice. We need to go, little fella. This guy's going to be a piece of piss. There you go. Very nice, and we get bacon grease, which I don't actually know how this works. We've only got one heart container. Okay, it just unempties it, but it's kind of good to get that going. Um, now we can take that to the next floor. And we are just trying, trying to do delirium here, so we've just got to try and go for power. Um, one second. One second. I need to just fix something. I've sent someone a file, and apparently they've got restricted access. Um... My goodness, why is Google Drive so annoying? Share. Um, oh, one second. Restricted. Yeah. Right, there you go. That should work. Yeah, I sent someone over a, a file for one of my logs from my last run. Because if you remember in the last run, I was getting lag and I thought initially it was due to milkshake. But I was then told that it's probably just more to do with the crap that's going on in my console. Um, so... I'm hoping that uh, one of the modders from Milkshake will be able to take a little look at that for me and see what was causing all of those errors, because I'm sure it was something unintentional between some mods doing some some wacky stuff that I'm not particularly happy with. I need to restart out my... I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I need to be able to see the chat and OBS. There you go. So I know what's going on. Otherwise, I'm getting a little bit lost. A little bit lost. But uh, we are going to go Devil Deal here, considering we've got the Judas's tongue and stuff going on and the little free Devil Deal ghosty boy. It's always fun having those guys around. I mean, that is, is if we get a Devil Deal right now, which is not at all guaranteed. Uh, but I'm good at the game. I I'll manage. I'll manage. We do get good old Mustard Seed, which is more HP as well. I will take this pill, and it'll be a health down. No, it's a spider unboxing. It knows. It's like you, you, you were saying about the spider box. You liked that, didn't you? Here's some more. Yeah, must have seen some good stuff. But yeah, what I'm going to do just throughout this run, just so I can see if I want to send my log over, is I'm going to peri periodically check my console and see what it's saying. Because um, it means that anyone watching that, that has any idea can get a bit clued into uh, some of the issues that might be coming up. But also, uh, it means that 
when you guys modder wise are going in and having a look at my log file you'll be able to actually get a bit more context for what might be what you might be looking for and stuff so we are going to periodically check to see if there's any uh particularly bad errors especially if the run ends up getting laggier typically if that happens it's usually because like a specific item or interaction has happened um so it might be a specific thing that happened last run because game feels mostly fine right now um but we'll, we'll sort of see how that goes and see how it progresses we do have quite a lot of money here, so we could very well open up that uh, that shop and grab something from within there. Okay, leak you guys to it. Uh, we've seen our item room, of course. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Saving my charge for when I truly need it. I'm not quite sure what happened with you there. Okay, and then we got Emperor card. It's actually not bad for the next floor. Of course, we'll pop this here. And these guys are going down very quickly. Easy. And we get even more. Even more HP to trade into our Devil Deals. Okay, so we're definitely going to take Risk Reward as our first one here. Um, and then... Grants Familiar on Death here. Revive and Remove Familiars. Um, Fat Familiar becomes more powerful. I'll remove them instead. Hunk Familiar becomes more powerful, grants you invincibility frames, and keeps all your heart containers. Works only once. I mean, I guess I'll take it. It's a revive, isn't it? Right. He does fire as well, which is rather nice. But, risk reward here. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Very, very good. It's probably going to, um, probably going to help us quite a lot. Right, one second. I've had a reply. Okay, they found two things already that could be causing some of the issues, so I will take a look at those when I can. Wait, did I just open that without keys? No, I do have keys. I got very confused for a second there. I don't know what I was looking at. Oh, that was a very bad hit. I didn't realize I didn't have soul heart for some reason. I wasn't paying enough attention. I wasn't paying enough attention. But yeah, now we don't have our damage up, but we should get better items overall here, so it's not all that bad. Good old bit of retrovision. Good old bit of speed down. I don't really mind a speed down. It's not so bad. Right. So we have lost our devil deal here. It's not impossible for us to get one, but 9%. It's not all that likely. What I should have done is use my Emperor card first thing to try and uh, escape that fate. But I was not thinking about that at the time. So I did not do that. Good. Get ourselves some good stuff. We'd have a sack room here. Don't think we're going to have a way to play that at the moment. Our health is not exactly conducive of sack room playing. This looks like secret room to me. That it is, that it is. Eh. Little bit of Mooney. Little bit of Mooney. I could uh, I could blow up one of these guys to get slightly better chances at uh, thingy as well. Devil deal. It's only a small bump, but 2.5%. Eh. You never know. If we get the devil deal now, we can't. We could say that that helped us out at least. So with this, we're going to do that. Suck that in. And it'll get upgraded to a level 3. No, 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 no. Um, excuse me? Oh, wait, I see, I see. I thought I was stuck in this little middle bit then. Uh, but yeah, so now we've got to go through here. We get a few potential rewards along the way, which is quite nice. Pretty fly. Um, and in the last room here, we've got to fight our item. Uh, which, the, the fights can be a little tricky, depending. Uh, they're not always easy. But, as you can see, you do always get a one tier higher item, and that being a little dumpy right now is, uh, I'm heavily on board with. Now, I am gonna just quickly say that where the fuck's my item? Where the fuck's my little dumpy? You said I was getting a little dumpy, uh, you appear to have, have lied to me. So I'm gonna spawn it in, because that's the way this item is supposed to work and there definitely isn't any way in which it's supposed to delete the item. I'm thinking what happened there is Mustard Seed uh, transformed that enemy when it died and therefore it didn't drop the item, which is inconvenient, but at least we have console commands to collect, correct the error, so give little Dumpy. We'll give ourselves Dumpy back because we should have got him. I think Mustard Seed just uh, had a poor interaction with that and we will not stand for such a thing. We we deserve our little dumpy. But little dumpy over fire mines a pretty pretty good trade, I've gotta say. Pretty good deal. I can certainly stand for that. 
Oh god. Oh, thank you, Dumpy. I didn't know you were saving there. Oh, does this guy spawn his own his own enemies now? That's a thing that he does. My little buddy, my little uh, um, buddy has brain worm shots by the looks of it. I will take the left hand, thank you. I'm in a I'm in a dark kind of mood today, and I don't mean that as in like I'm depressed. I just mean I can go for the darker side of life right now and go for the darker side of the chests. I will certainly accept them with open arms and an open embrace. Half soul heart, anywhere, anywhere, half soul heart? No. Come on, Dumpy. Keep me alive. Keep on dumping and trumping. Huh. Here we go. Okay. Boss should be coming up any second. We do have our shop as well here and quite a lot of money to go at it with. Get rid of that fly. This this bozo is uh, shooting way too many, way too many things. Dude, die. Why has this guy got so much health? Holy. Right, what's this? Insert a coin after 10 coins. There's a 1% chance to explode and double the coins inserted. Guaranteed to explode for 100 coins. That's a really interesting idea. Um, but I just, nah. <laughs> right now it's not for us, but it's kind of like a, a savings account. You put money into it and eventually it'll double your money. It's kind of an interesting idea. It does seem pretty low tier. I kind of understand why it's a tier zero, but um, it's an intriguing idea nonetheless. And I can see on some runs it being really, really good. Good. good, good. The only thing I can like say about it that's a little bit weak is just that a lot of the time it's probably going to pay out when you don't need it to, as in like it's going to pay out like once you're past the womb one sort of floor, and at that point you don't really need the money anymore. So that that would be a little bit depressing if that's the, that's the way it happened. But I suppose with it being a one percent chance after, for every penny after ten, then it's actually not like you could get a, a, a pretty early doubling and it'd be pretty worthwhile. It's only going to be annoying if you like put in a hundred and then it doubles sort of thing. That would be a little bit of a piss take, but... Hey, uh, we've seen our item room this floor, haven't we? That's why we got our dumpy boy. We do need a damage up at this point, I'd say. Keep a little dumpy close by here, because God knows we're going to need him for this fight. I get hit by this guy quite a lot with his new... Uh, New fancy attacks. I'm still not super well versed in them. Yeah, of course you managed to jump me there, my good, my good guy. Yeah, this attack specifically, I'm I'm still, still figuring out. It just goes on for so long, man. And then this one's also a little bit sketchy too. What we got there? And he's dead. And we do get GMO Corn, which I'm pretty happy with. We'll see if we get any bad pills there. Nope, we did get a speed up though. I think overall that was pretty good. I think we did get one unfortunate um, bad trip pill in there, but... Right. Keep this going. But yeah, getting a, getting a damage up and a HP up there is very nice. We also have a half soul heart to slightly protect our interests when it comes to our devil deal. 67% chance, it's not nothing. It could happen. We do have plenty of keys as well to open up this door. Lovely. Mustard Seed doesn't seem to be procking all that much at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. It's such a good change to Mustard Seed. It used to be so bad. Well, not so bad. It used to be so hard to use, and now it's actually something that you can realistically use on a run. Um, Yeah, let's, let's do this now. While we've got the Soul Heart Health available. I don't particularly remember how this how this version of this guy works. I'm going to say, I know there's fires involved, but I can't remember if there's lasers. Okay, this is where I'm making my mistakes. This guy does not have lasers. He's a lot easier in terms of from a distance. But he can be trickier in terms of the fires. But there you go, we got that. Check out our devil deal. And we get whatever this is. Um... 15% chance to fire conf um, confusing tears, tears up. After completing the boss, all rooms become uncompleted. It can be re-beaten. Yeah, let's give that a go. Why not? Seems interesting. Also, the concussion tears sounds good. 
addicted, whatever. Hematemesis is whatever as well. Overall, not bad. I, I, I like the 15% chance for confusing tiers on top of the uh, rebeaten rooms thing. The rebeaten rooms, I don't think I'll get a whole lot of use out of, but it's not bad. I think I got an I'm excited somewhere along the road here. Come on, my Bernie boy. Thank you for saving me there. Saving me the trouble, at least. Okay, these are all head throwers. I did not realize for a hot second. Oh my god. Where did I get this Bernie boy from anyways? I don't remember. I'll accept him as my child, even though he is now dead. I, I will grieve him as my child, is what I meant to say. Big old bomb. No, thank you. Oh, no, damn. Don't have a bomb, god damn it. Lovely. I'd like a little bomb, please. Got so much money to work with right now. And cushions helping us out again. Oh, thank you, goddamn Dumpy. You are my knight in shine armor. Of course, of course, when, when my mustard seed does work, it's like, here's a black fly. Why? Good old deep pockets will take that. And we'll hopefully find our item room relatively soon here. I'm really liking having Brainworm on this guy. It's quite nice. Hey, there's our bombs. We can use those on the way back. In fact, I'm going to use one here because this looks very set up for Secret Room. And indeed it was. Unfortunately, a pretty bad Secret Room overall. Um, I'll do this rather than the Tinted Rock. Might be slightly more valuable. Unfortunately, it wasn't. <laughs> I was hoping for two nickels there and then it would have been pretty good value. But just getting that, eh. I could have passed on that. Okay, good, good. As, as good as it is, I'm still going to use my space bar because piercing's good, but a quality 4 item could be better. Obviously, there's plenty of quality 4 items that aren't that good, but there's plenty that are really, really good. So, like Ipecac, for example. I'm pretty happy with Ipecac. Now, Mustard Seed might break this again, so we have to spawn it in, but we'll see. Yeah, I have a really hard time dodging this this man. Thank you, little Dumpy. Yeah, so we didn't get Ipecac this time because of it, so... Give... What mod's this? Missing item charge bars. Okay, so there's a few mods I need to get rid of. Um, Ipecac. Cool, we got Ipecac now. Ipecac is in the mix. Right, and I think that, that sets us off to head on our way. Why not? Good old bit of Ipecac on a run. You can't you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Red chests have not been too fruitful so far, which is a little bit of a shame, but can't really do much about that. I'm trying to blow up these mushrooms where I can, but I'm not gonna spend ages doing it. I don't want to be here all day. Right, down we go. So, for doing Delirium, this is definitely a decent setup now. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy. Yeah, if it's a quality 3 item, you kind of have to up it to a quality 4 just because the um, the benefits are pretty good. Okay, I'm definitely going to get hit. Oh, I didn't. Wow. Yeah, um, benefits are just pretty good. Quality 4 items can be so goddamn good. There's a lot of them that are pretty top tier. Obviously, there's a few, like I said, that just wouldn't be worth it, but... Ooh, this is good. Pretty big tiers up for us there. Don't want to take the range down pill, thank you, game. I'm, I'm not sticking with that right now. Blue key, eh. I'm pretty happy with my, uh... Ooh, pretty happy with my current setup I've got going on right now. Hey, it's another burn boy. Oh my god, these things are just everywhere right now. More burn boys for me. And a card as well. Eh, chariot, it's it's fine, it's fine. Somewhat helpful. Ow. Tell you what isn't somewhat helpful. Spawning a bunch of spiders and hurting yourself because of it. Not a big fan of that.
Okay, you guys need to go first. You guys are way more annoying. Okay, cool. Devil Disc, I'm just gonna pop. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I love the sped up death animations for enemies like that. Makes life a lot, lot easier. Makes me not want to kill myself a little bit more, a little bit as I normally do. Okay, go boom. And boom. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Boom. And boom. There you go. Well, that's a guppy item at least. Not that I need to use the guppy item, but there one is. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, that shop was not very useful. I will buy the uh, heart to fill up my uh, burn hearts, though. Why not? Thank you for said guppy item. I'm still looking for our item room still, because obviously we want to use our risk reward as much as we can. You want to get a quality zero, turn it into a quality one. Amazing. Oh, dude, the little spiders, man. Every time I hurt myself on them. So here's our shop, at least we can afford for something from here. Oh, dude. Stop spawning more things, room. Can't be dealing with it. Oh, we got the clicker again. Oh, dude. Is the clicker about to be fucking insane? Doesn't it deal, like, 10% of our damage? Does that mean it's going to deal 4.7 damage per click? That's going to be ludicrous if it does. Oh, it does. That is insane. <laughs> that is absolute insanity. Don't uncharge my active. I had to hit him. Give me a quality three. Yeah, this is legitimately insane. Yeah, what's going on with this? Give the mind... Okay, away we go. Love a little black heart there, thank you. What out here? Yeah, this 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 clicker's gonna be pretty nuts. I can just sit over here and spam that and annihilate anything. 4.7 damage a click when you can click as fast as you can is very, very strong. <laughs> Should maybe be capped to like two damage or something to stop it from being very powerful. But I suppose it's a cool combo, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. And then in here, not much. You get a luck penny out of it though, and another pretty fly. Cool. Right, down we go. Four point seven three. So yeah, we just got to watch out to make sure we don't ipecac ourselves too much, like I just did twice in this room, while talking about not ipecacking myself too much. Good, good progress by me there. Yeah, just got to make sure to ipecac ourselves too much while we're, while we're rapid clicking. Of course I get uh, the mind and then I've got a room with uh, a floor with no mapping. Just typical, isn't it? Good. What card you got there? Empress. Eh, it's good, but I can't be asked. Walking that far for an Empress card. Not on my docket for today, thank you. Ah, oh, would be this room. Not too bad, actually. Start with low speed, it's going to be a bit harder than that. Luckily, it was not. Okay, now we just got to find item room. More money, thank you. Not that we need it. There we go. Item room is here. Right, who are we clicking on right now? Is the room over? Okay, there you are. 
Daddy Longlegs, you get 10 to a quality 4 item as well. Why does it always do that? It placed me behind it like that. Stupid. Right. At least as well, you get like extra rewards for these rooms too. It's not just the item upgrade. That's what we want to see. Good old Cricket's head. Give Cricket. Head. Beautiful. 7.23 damage per usage now. My goodness. The damage right now is pretty stupendous. We also seemingly have uh, another item that's giving us bonus damage every now and again. I don't know what item that is. Oh, it must be um, Toy Drum from the shop. Uh... Shop disc. I'd imagine. Yeah, the clicks are just going to be ludicrously good right now. Black heart, why not? Nothing much in that arcade, unfortunately. We do have BFF as well currently. Which is doubling its damage. To 14, so kind of absurd right now. While we have BFF, easy. We'll take that. Um, we do not want that because that will fuck up our shot speed really bad for our clicker. Because every time we tap, it will barely move, and it means the Ipecac shots will always hit us. So I've thought ahead on that one. I've at least somewhat thought ahead on that one. Right, now we can just beeline it to the bosses. Didn't like the invincible enemies there, did it? Hello, hello. Reveals the ultra secret room, 33% chance to, to spawn. Crack key, one. Uh, yeah, I guess that's better. Oh, we get both, okay. Wasn't expecting to get both. Okay, so Ultra Secret is actually on the way for us here, which is rather nice, of course. Let's try and speed along here if we can. Don't need the Soul Hearts, actually. And we don't really need the money either. Ah, oh, that was really bad damage there. Luckily, we got two soul hearts that I left for just such an occasion. <laughs> that worked out really, really well for us there. Okay. I never like rooms where you walk into a wall the moment you, you walk in. Cool, and we've got second secret room here as well that we can grab. I don't think I actually finished that room there. That was slightly my bad. Did it finish? Oh, no. Because of the uh, sped up death animations, it did finish. Good. Unfortunately, risk reward our um, thingy. Uh... Oh, I didn't even pick up my cracked key. Oh, I I'll be honest, I don't care enough to go back and get it. <laughs> We're fine on this run. It's, it's fine. I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. My bad. Oh, dude, stop hurting yourself, you goon. Oh my lord, just don't fire when something's next to you, you moron. At least now we have an active item that's actually useful for us. Right. Oh, where we go? Quickly check this out. Fortunately, nothing much there for us. Right. Just keep going. Oh, that was terrible. What the hell happened there? Varicose veins. Oh, dude, there's two of these rocks in here. Also, this room is just full of enemies. We got Worm Friend, which I quite like. 
Health is not looking as good as it was, I'll be honest. Hey, but the game, the game knows that and it rewards us as such. Oh, dude, I didn't expect that to fucking suck me in like that. Really? Really? It's unfortunate. Okay. Well, that was nice. Nice and simple. And then we go through here to do our hush fight and then delirium straight after. Good stuff. Ah, bugger. Ah, to be fair, that wasn't terrible. Um, ooh, maybe I should have took, take, kept risk reward for this. I didn't think about this, but there goes fine. And then seed sack. Uh, I guess is better than that for this. Death card doesn't do much for us. Okay, that hits me. Okay, that's good to know. A worm friend will hold him down every now and again for us, which is rather nice. Okay, this shouldn't be too too difficult of a fight, I wouldn't imagine. With all the clicking and stuff we got going on. Clicking and clacking. I like the fact that the clicks give you the damage value. Like, even though you don't have damage numbers enabled normally, it's not like you got spider mod, it just gives you them with it. I think that's kind of fun. Alright, try and pick up Dumpy when we can. We don't want to leave him in the lurch too much. Okay, can't click him while he's underground, good to know. Dumpy, stop getting hit! Wasn't even close to that bitch. Get away, flies. Right. Not doing too bad on speed at the moment. Dumpy keeps triggering when I'm nowhere near being hit. It's very annoying. Stop spewing flies at me as well, dude. It's getting tiresome. My goodness. I'm I, the only hits I'm taking are ones that I'm inflicting on myself. I'm just trying to push my bomb towards you, my guy. This is actually taking way longer than I would have expected to. We've not even got him halfway yet. I'm trying to spam click as fast as I can. Would have expected it to, to have gone quicker than this, but... Sadly not. Dumpy. Get back here. Always trying to run off. Thinking you're your own man. You are mine. Right. Worm friend doing some good stuff. Back with the flies again. Can we fuck off with the flies, please? Oh my lord. This boss is nuts sometimes. Just chill out. It's just all the things that you can do are out at once. Why? Also, is Dumpy with me? He is good. Okay, nearly done. Nearly done. Stop going underground, I swear. Man, I'd love a mod that just stopped, like, all bosses having invincibility phases. They're just not fun. Also, if I don't take damage here, I'll be very surprised. Looks like I'm not going to, though. That was very surprising. Of course, you've got more friends. Why do you have so many kids? I just want my clicker to click on you, but you've got too many children. It's clicking on them too. And now you're underground again. You've got like no health, man. Just die. There you go. Lend some respect. Right. Void. Let's go. Right, my current health does not fill me with confidence, I'll be honest. 
Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. Um, I really don't know which one it's going to be, I'll be honest. I'm really unsure which one it's going to be here. Got to remember my bombs can hit these guys. Seed sack's probably not the best thing for us right now. I probably should have just kept my flight and speed. This is bullshit. Don't put don't put blocks right next to the door. Sometimes I want to come in all guns blazing. You can't. It's my it's my right. It's my right as a Isaac player to come in all guns blazing. You can't take that away from me. The clicker will get him. It's fine. Right, soul hearts, please. Thank you. Not bad. Sunken fly. Ah, oh, what? This room didn't get completed? My bad. Oh, wait. I was like, ha wait, there's a door here, but there's no door? It's a secret room, that's why. Just let's slightly shortcut through, which is nice. Get to another boss a bit quicker. Good old sister Viz, of which I've uh, immediately hurt myself on. One heart container to a burn heart. Is that worth it to us? I don't think it is really, is it? This room didn't complete either. What's going on with this bullshit? I like... Uh, fuck. Every single time I beat a boss, all rooms become uncleared. Every single time. For all of these boss rooms. Every room is going to become uncleared after I beat it. So that's that's going to be kind of annoying. Yes, I'm going to have to redo all of my rooms every single time. Which means more room rewards, but also more inconvenience. Right. What you got for us? The longer flags is what you've got. Broken shell. Having to redo all these rooms again, this is, yeah, this is going to get real tedious real fast. Like I said, you do get extra room rewards, but at this point, what room rewards do we really need? Apart from potentially, like, red chests and soul hearts. Okay. We've only got a few more bosses to check here as well, so we shouldn't be too bad off. Ow. My god, it's infuriating to kill some of these enemies right now. Thank you, Virgo, for saving me from some of the purgatory that I've entered. Okay. This is probably last proper boss, and then we've got Delirium after this. That's pretty good. Big ol' fire rate up. At least our room clears are quick. It'd be a lot more annoying if they weren't. So you were gaining health from it, so it's not, not a completely bad thing. Come on, game. Please let this next one be delirium and not make me run all the way down there. That'd be rather annoying. Rather annoying indeed. Stars card, I'm not risking it. It could take me anywhere. Dude, my little fly just bopped that into me. I know you did. Right. 
This better be delirium. It's not. God damn it. It's another item at least, but... What the hell is that? Block projectiles when hit, 20% chance to shield for Isaac for 5 seconds. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think at this point, we're probably just going to bomb through the doors if we can. Which I can't remember. You can't. Okay. I didn't think you could. My brain's foggy. I spend so much HP. I'm just annoyed we've not got any more items, no guppy or anything. What's going on with you and Mr. Mr. Big Health Pool here? I can't deal with you right now, Gursty. Blood Void Machine, I don't think we need. 4% chance to fire a fire mind. Yeah, why not? This could be better right now. Right, in we go. Here comes that boy. Right, it's all about the clicks with this guy. It's all about the clicks. Just keep clicking on him until he dies. I love the mushrooms that are dropping spiders for some reason. That was a really great hit on me there, my guy. Respect that one. At least we get invincibility from Virgo, like I said. That, that helps a ton. I just don't really know where I'm firing right now, but that's why the cl why the clicker is so clutch. You see that? He blocked a shot from me there. I don't know if the Giga Bomb did anything for me, but I thought I'd try it out. I'm, I'm trying where I can. I'd like my, uh, my Dumpy back if I could get him, but they're a little bit in the corner over there at the minute. Just keep up with the clicks. We got this in the bag pretty easily here. There you go, we got him. Gigabombs did us a good job. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Uh, yet another character complete, and a pretty fun run to complete it as well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. We got some good stuff going on. Jump in our little chest here, and be on our little way. I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys in the next one.